Hey guys, so we are getting ready to go over to Hollywood Studios for the day, but I wanted to pop on real quick and let you know today was the first day that I used the modification option on Genie Plus, and it was very seamless, super user-friendly. Um, so I would say when you're looking for, look for whatever ride you're wanting to do, um, snag the time, and then you can try and modify it for different times. Um, so this morning I got up, we wanted Slinky Dog, so there was a lot of early times on there, um, but I wanted something later because we um, are gonna be over there later, we're doing dinner, and then we kinda wanna do it at night because we like Slinky Dog at night, and with the Christmas lights it's really pretty with Tower of Terror. So um, I snagged whatever time I could get, and then I just kept modifying it until it pushed back later. And it was funny, so I started the process at seven o'clock when it opens. I got like three o'clock. I kept uh, modifying it. And then I got one for like five, but I needed it for six. Um, but at 7.04, 7.05, you could tell more dropped because my time pushed all the way back to like 9 a.m. Um, so like I said, grab what you can and then kind of modify for like five or six minutes to see if anything else pops up and you might be able to grab it. So we were able to grab the perfect time for us. What time was that? <coughs> five, 5.20 to 6.20. Yeah, because there's no way he's in his cute little Mickey PJs. Okay. <laughs> but then so I set my alarm reminder for 10.30 because you can do it every two hours or if you, or when you scan it for your lightning lane. Um, and then at 10.30 I was able to grab Tower of Terror, but again, I wanted it for a little bit later time, but I just grabbed the time so that way I had it, and then just kind of kept hitting modify for the next like minute or so, and uh, was able to get for the time I wanted for later on in the day. So I'm excited, it worked out great for us, and hopefully, um, I, I looked on there and saw like Mini Mickey's still available in the afternoon. I think we can get Smuggler's Run. Um, but a lot of those things are still available. Um, but I will tell you at park opening this morning, um, Rise of the Resistance was down, Millennium Falcon was down, and I think Tower Terror was down for a little bit. Um, so I'm kind of glad we did not rope drop because that might have been a hot mess. But the wait times don't look terrible. So hopefully it's not as busy in the parks, but we'll have fun either way. See you at Hollywood. We're at Hollywood Budios. <laughs> Remember you saw we saw that, Aaron? All the Christmas decorations on the outside as we're coming in, and it is Dapper Day, as you can tell. Look at the cute people all dressed up all dapper. <laughs> trading and right over here left in this antiques and curios they have a huge pin trading board so let's check it out and there it is found a couple good ones in there but now I'm not sure where Mike and the boys went I'm gonna guess a gift shop so let's head in there here's all the Christmas decorations Some of the Toy Story Christmas stuff. They've got pillows, this cute blanket, like Sherpa style blanket. We've got spirit jersey. That's really soft. These I thought they were funny. These are like the fuzzy croc sandals. I'm really shocked my kids don't have these. Now there's a coffee mug, the size you need to be able to get up and get going in the morning. Oh, they have this in the kids version too and the uh, backpack. Like a dinosaur. I think it's just the way it was eaten. <laughs> what did you order? The tree marshmallow. Oh, yummy. 
They're like, these two kids look like they're gonna have some food and possibly drop it in the water for us. But you're not, right? I'm not. <laughs> no, I really want to. I don't know if you can see, but they have an acapella group that's in front of Minnie Mickey Runway Railway singing uh, like Christmas songs and stuff like that. Oh, right there. You need a spoon or a fork for this? Or are you just gonna? <laughs> so the kids got the marshmallow Christmas tree. What's the? I'm You're gonna be my test tester here. What was that? Is it candy? Chocolate. Oh, it's chocolate. White chocolate, probably. Just bite in there. Yeah, probably just easier just to. <laughs> it's marshmallow. Is it like sticky marshmallow though? Noah, you might be able to have some of this. I'm not sure. Actually, It's a little sticky. Okay. So the kids have decided they're doing a rating system for these holiday treats. I, I found out Santa hats would be good. Santa hats, yeah. Okay, so one out of five Santa hats, what is that? Five being the best. Three and a half. Three and a half. What would make it better, you think? It's a little more like the marshmallows more a little stiffer. You have like a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Noah? What's your system here? So, out of Santa hats, one out of five. One being the worst and five being the best. A four? Oh, well then you'd probably be a three. Four is good. Oh, needs more flavor. It's just marshmallow. Marshmallow doesn't have too much flavor. And Daddy got me this uh, margarita. Cheers. So Aaron got to the bottom of this marshmallow tree and it's jelly. Are you sure? Oh yeah, it is. I like jelly. Oh, pomegranate. Every time I see a blue drink now, I expect it to taste like that frozen fractals drink on uh, Arendelle. Of course, we had to stop at Baseline Tap House. Well, I didn't even get a chance to take a video. You've gotten your million. <laughs> Are you hungry? You had breakfast? I know. I didn't finish it though. No, well, there's pretzel <laughs> with cheese sauce. That's for your, your good works of taking uh, good pictures. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Luke's watch. Oh, there's Belle! Hey, Belzies! Where's Winnie? Oh, her nose looks like Rocket. Like on uh, Cosmic Rewind. It's like all up in the grill. Where's Winnie? Aw, oh, pretty girl. Alright, so in the perks of busyness, Star Tours is only 15 minutes, so let's go do that. We actually don't, don't even need a lightning light for that. Alright, it's 129. Let's hope this is accurate, right honey? <laughs> it's a good ride. It's a good ride, but it's you know, you really don't want to wait more than 15 minutes for it. <laughs> Attention please. Galactic Security would like to remind you to keep carry-on luggage and package. Are you the droid I'm looking for? <laughs> Are you the droid I'm looking for? It was a walk-on. Here's Ham and the Toy Soldiers. <laughs> and there's uh, ornaments over there. Oh, it's a little cluster right here right now. Yeah, I know. I honestly didn't feel like the parks were that busy today until we got into Toy Story Land and it's still a little busy over here. So, Luckily today, like I said, today is Dapper Day, so it's a lot of people that are just kind of around the park, but they're not necessarily doing the attractions, so the wait times aren't too terrible. They have definitely popped up within the last hour or so, but um, we started stacking some lightning lanes, so we're pretty good. We have 
Rock and Roller Coaster in about 20 minutes. And then we've got Slinky Dog and Tower of Terror tonight. So we're doing pretty good. I can get another one in about 20 minutes when we get on Rock and Roller Coaster. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get like Mini Mickey maybe. Um, either that or Smuggler's Run, but Mini Mickey's probably what we're going for. What's happening up here? They're doing the, um, this is uh, Jesse's, what's it called? Roundup? They said it's going to be a barbecue restaurant, so they're doing the outside entrance to it, so a little construction update. Let's get closer and I'll show you. So here's an up close view of Jesse's Roundup. Lots of construction on the outside for the entrance of it, but I don't believe we still have received an opening date for that, so we will see, but it's definitely coming along. What do you think, Daddy? What's your, uh, you're pretty good at like estimating when they open stuff. March. March of 2023? Yeah. Spring break. Okay. Let's see. Looks like we have some cast members trying to fix some lights over here, but we got the, we got the triplets going here. Oh yeah, they've got the lights on in the grass. You probably can't see it on here because of the sun, but... Oh yeah! Super cute! I like the garland along here too. It's yeah. like, you know... <laughs> well, and we have, we, have, we, have, we have silver garland along the outside of our house with it. I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe we need more silver. I guess it's the silver that makes it seem more like vintage -y, you know? Yeah. Because like nowadays stuff, we have like green. The silver and the fakeness of it is more like retro-y. We have a lightning lane for a rock and roller coaster, so we're heading over there. But uh, we're a little early, so we're gonna head up Sunset and check out some gift shops, and maybe some holiday decorations before the light comes down. But again, you can see people dressed in there Dapper costumes. Looking so amazing. Yeah. The magic carpet and jasmine. Yeah. And the lamp. You see the lamp? Yeah. This is the beanie I bought the other day from um, Disney Style, and they actually have it in Hollywood Studios. But they have a lot of cute ones. I liked it because it has the princesses, but it has uh, Tiana has one, it has Pixar. Cute. Okay, I just tried this on. This is really cute. Very soft. I just don't know how much I would actually wear it, but it's got like Mickey and Minnie, Goofy, Daisy. I think on the back it's like no. This is the other part of this collection. Minnie, little crop top. Oh, this is cute, actually. The t-shirt version. I actually really like these. Oh, that's cute. They have a whole Tiana collection that is super cute. It's got the restaurant fund mug. Oh my gosh, and this is actually a big mug. That's nice. That's cute, oh my god. If I wasn't a mom and didn't have to carry 75,000 things, I would definitely buy this. Got a menswear like shirt. I found this for Noah. Have a Wally Jolly holiday. You never see Wally merchandise. This is cute. Of course, the family is requiring me to do this horrible ride yet again. It's a fan favorite. They should play like rock and roll Christmas music in this ride versus yeah. Space Mountain. They this would make outside. sense. I know, it, it is playing out here, but they should play on the inside. Then I might be like more inclined to want to go on it and my hair is not on a ponytail. But we do have a lightning lane, so let's get this over with. Oh, I always forget about Lightning McQueen over here, too. <laughs> what seats do we, got, we get on a rock and roller coaster? What rows? Whoa! 12. Stop. 12 and 11. <laughs> 12 and 11. The very back two rows, didn't we? I would claim that as not a Christmas miracle. I would claim that as very grinchy. 
<laughs> and I didn't have my hair in a ponytail, so I had to like stick my feet down the ground and push myself up so my head would be higher because I'm short. So that way I wouldn't get a headache, but it's over and done. My family's happy. And I was able to um, modify, yay, our Mickey Mini Runway Railway. It was at 7.15 to 8.15, which wouldn't work for our Fantasmic. And in line, it just popped up at three, like three, three fifteen. So we will do that. Yeah, you want a snack? Let's see what we can find. <laughs> oh, Pluto!